Good morning, everybody. Today is Saturday, April 16th, 2022, and welcome to our daily devotional time. I am Allie Cobb, Director of Children's Youth and Family Ministries here at St. John's United Methodist Church, and thank you so much for joining me during our midday devotion time. Um, this is a time where we pause together as a community of faith, and we listen to scripture, um, devotion from the upper room, some reflection, and prayer. So thank you guys so much for joining me um, today um, for this. Um, if you are joining me live now or watching a little bit later on in the day, if you don't mind leaving a comment below, um, we always appreciate knowing that you stopped by to say hi. Um, I'm currently hiding out in my bedroom with the door locked, <laughs> so hopefully no um, furry or children interruptions. Uh, my in-laws are in town for um, the Easter weekend, and I didn't want to disturb everybody's fun downstairs, um, so I figured I'd sneak off here and spend some time with you guys and then rejoin them, but that's where I am where I am right now. I'm not in my normal office because I didn't want to disturb them. Good morning, Jack Tennell, and it is nice to see you today. Good morning, Miss Linda. It's always good to see you. Oh, sorry, Tennell. So, hi, Jack and Pat. Sorry about that. <laughs> good morning, Jack Dunbar. It's always good to see you as well. Um, this morning, I will be in the book of Matthew. So, if anybody has their Bible and wants to follow along, we are in the book of Matthew together today. And I hope everybody's having a good start to their Easter weekend. It was also good seeing so many of you guys again last night at our Good Friday service um, at St. John's. That's always one of my favorite um, services of the year. I know you shouldn't pick favorites, but I just, I love that service. I love the low lighting. I love the scripture reading with the candles and everything. That's always one of my most favorite ones of the year. So for those of you that joined last night, thank you for coming. Hello, Susan. Good to see you. And Susan also brought a friend last night. It was wonderful getting to meet your neighbor. Hi, Shirley. Good to see you as well. <clears throat> Don't know what anybody's plans are, but tomorrow will be a little busy um, for me and everything. So we're going to do um, our Easter egg hunt today. Normally we do our Easter egg hunt the day before Easter um, and everything, but especially with weather looking to be a little bit colder tomorrow and everything. We're definitely going to do ours um, later on this afternoon, so that'll be fun. Good morning, Chris and Barb. Good to see you as well. Well, let us get started today. So as I said, um, I will be in the book of Matthew, chapter 28, verses 1 through 10, and I will be reading out of the Common English Bible. After the Sabbath, at dawn, on the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary came to look at the tomb. Look, there was a great earthquake, for an angel from the Lord came down from heaven. Coming to the stone, he rolled it away and sat on it. Now his face was like lightning and his clothes as white as snow. The guards were so terrified of him that they shook with fear and because like dead men. But the angel said to the woman, don't be afraid. I know that you are looking for Jesus who was crucified. Here he, he, he isn't here because he's been raised from the dead, just as he said. Come see the place where they laid him. Now hurry, go, and tell his disciples. He's been raised from the dead. He's going on ahead of you to Galilee. You will see him there. I've given the message to you. With great fear and excitement, they hurried away from the tomb and ran to tell his disciples. But Jesus met them and greeted them. They came and grabbed his feet and worshipped him. Then Jesus said to them, Don't be afraid. Go and tell my brothers that I'm going into Galilee. They will see me there. Okay, and then our devotion for today comes from Sean Gray of Wyoming. And the focus verse for today is Matthew 26, or sorry, Matthew 28, verse 6 of the NIV. He is not here, he has risen. Just as he said, come and see the place where he lay. So Sean Gray of Wyoming, these are his thoughts for today. The Rock Left Behind. One day, the summer between my son's freshman and sophomore year of high school, we received a phone call that his friend and classmate Casey had died. He had drowned in a local lake. Our entire family was in shock. We live in a small town and we were close to the case when we were close with Casey's family. The first day we focused on helping our son. The next day, we spent special time with our younger children, helping them to understand the tragedy. It was making a cake to take to the family when our youngest, a child who was four, said, 
Mom, why don't they just find his rock? Whose rock? I asked. He said simply, Casey's rock. When they found Jesus' rock, he was not there. My child's question helped me to remember in the midst of an unimaginable loss that Jesus had overcome death. Just like Jesus, Casey had left to death behind and was in our Heavenly Father. This, our simple reminder, calmed my heart and gave me peace. I knew that because of Jesus' victory, we would see Casey again. Now in any loss, I remind myself that Jesus has defied death. Praise the Lord. And our thought for today is, because of Jesus' victory over death, I can experience new life. And our prayer focus today is those mourning the death of a friend. Um, when reading today's um, devotion, um, I was actually reminded of Jim, Pastor Jim's sermon um, at our Monday and Thursday service um, a few days ago, where he had mentioned that this will be his first Easter without um, his mother present. She passed away in September um, over Labor Day weekend. And so when thinking about that, I was kind of thinking about all families who um, either through this past year um, or really any year that have experienced the loss of a loved one. And just the day-to-day -day of life can be um, hard missing that person, but holidays and anniversaries um, in certain seasons um, and everything can be especially hard for those people um, and everything because you remember their loss, you remember their absence and everything. Um, but we are reminded um, at this oh so special time of Easter that even though that person is no longer here physically with us um, and we miss them dearly, um, they are in a better place with our Heavenly Father. Um, as many of you know, um, our son had cancer. Um, he's almost two years in remission now. Um, but throughout um, his journey, we came in contact with um, a few different families, not very many, um, but one family in particular. Um, and their son um, had um, our son's similar form of cancer. He didn't have Cooper's um, weird subtype that nobody gets, but kind of like the same umbrella and everything. And so we had um, been connected with them um, and talked some and shared um, experiences um, and advice and everything. It was a family that we um, had come, been connected with um, through all of that. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and we found out um, and we kind of followed along with their journey a little bit. Um, and they announced um, about a month ago that their son, um, who had just was either 10 or 11, um, had passed away um, from cancer and everything, um, and that his journey um, had ended, and he was now with um, God in heaven. Um, and I just, not a day has gone by that I have not thought about them um, over this past month, um, and just my heartbreaking for them. Um, been in a similar situation with Cooper and trying to imagine yourself outliving your own child. Um, and then basically walking through every parent's worst nightmare right now and everything. And you are filled with a little sense of survivor's guilt, um, so to speak, of why was my child um, so fortunate and theirs was not. And so I have been thinking about them um, this past weekend because this will be their first holiday, um, obviously their first Easter, but just their first holiday in general um, without their son and what they must be going through. Um, but then reading the scripture this morning reminded that, you know, once we pass over um, into heaven, um, although we leave our loved ones behind and they are sad, we are no longer um, in any bodies that cause us pain and no longer in a world that can cause us pain. And we truly are in paradise and in a better place. Um, doesn't mean that we don't want to keep our loved ones around us um, as long as humanly possible um, because we love having them with us. Um, but especially in this season of Easter and everything, we get to just be reminded that Jesus really did pay the price for us so that we are able to experience that, um, that wonderful heavenly reward um, with him and everything. So those are just kind of my thoughts for today um, regarding Easter and that. Um, but then just also too, just wanted to just kind of remind everybody if you do get to celebrate Easter um, with your families this weekend and everything, take those pictures, make those memories, do those extra celebrations. Um, my children will probably grow up um, and reminisce on the memories of how much they hated their mother um, for taking so many pictures of them. 
Um, I probably take too many pictures, um, but at the same time, that makes me so happy because I'm always able to kind of capture those moments and those memories um, and everything. So I know I take too many pictures, but they make me happy and they just kind of pause that moment in time and that space and time and everything. So if it's taking pictures, take the picture. If it's baking the dessert, bake the dessert. Um, if it's doing some family tradition, do it, um, especially if you get to be with your family and everything, um, because those memories get to last you um, a lifetime. So let us close in prayer today. Dear God, thank you for the gift of eternal life that you give us through Jesus, who overcame death and left the rock of his tomb behind. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Well, thank you everybody so much for joining me um, on this Saturday. Um, hopefully I get to see all of you tomorrow um, in person for our Easter brunch. <coughs> Sorry, tickle my throat. Um, for our Easter brunch um, at 9.30, we'll have a kid's Easter egg hunt. Um, it'll either be in the courtyard or um, in Susanna Wesley Hall, depending on the weather. But we will have an egg hunt for the kiddos at 10. Um, and then we'll have worship service at 8.30 and 10.45. So I look forward to seeing everybody then and have a great rest of your Saturday and enjoy spending this time with your family. Take such good care. Bye-bye.